deer scents and fox urines that uh, hunters use, it's a good idea to spray your tires with that. It's a good idea to carry a cat in your car if you're going to have a couple of marijuana cigarettes. This confuses the dog where his drive is channeled to chasing these things instead of looking for the marijuana. Okay. All right, that's Barry Cooper, a one-time Texas drug agent described by his former boss as one of the best narcotics officers in the country. Now the former straight-laced lawman is using his expertise to show drug users how to conceal their stash and fool canines every time. Let's take a look. It's a really good idea to hide your stash in hard-to-find places, such as way under the dash. There's all kinds of crevices and places to hide small amounts of marijuana. All right, joining me now is the founder and CEO of NeverGetBusted.com, Barry Cooper himself. That's also the title of his first DVD. Second one is ready to be released this summer. Barry, uh, you know, I think a lot of folks are sort of shaking their heads. Why? Why, why go from being a great narcotics officer to doing this? Uh, maturity, logic, reason, and uh, compassion would tell any uh, logical, reasonable, and compassionate, compassionate adult that it is unreasonable to, for 10 men to break into a house with semi-automatic weapons and raid gear and drag mommy and daddy to jail orphaning the kids. Uh, that's unreasonable and it's unsafe for the marijuana users yeah, but, of this you know, nation. But Barry, I, I got to say, it, it seems like you're, you know, you're not really solving that problem. Why not protest that problem? Why not talk about bad cops? Why not talk about unfair um, investigations instead of enabling people who may be becoming increasingly dependent on drugs and helping them to continue that habit, which I think most people agree well, is not good. Well, no, 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 most people do not agree that smoking marijuana is not good. In fact, 14 states have passed medical marijuana laws. Well, that's a very different thing. A medical marijuana law is a very different thing from teaching, you know, kids and teenagers and other people who may be older how to get away from the cops and continue their drug habit. I think the way to answer that is we're 200 years old, our country is, and we've had bad policy in the past. We didn't allow women to vote at one time, bad policy. We had alcohol prohibition, bad policy. We had slavery, where if a slave escaped, they were subject to being beaten. And this is no different. The war on drugs, especially <laughs> marijuana, it's is no a bad different. policy. Go ahead, Barry. I know it Barry is. has a question for you. Go ahead, Barry. You know, Barry, you're, you're reminding me more of what NAMBLA does with sex offenders. NAMBLA <laughs> teaches the child rapists how to do it, how to get away with it. You're teaching drug thugs <laughs> okay, how there's not a difference to get caught. You're not just the teaching the user. And, and it's not a protest. You're making money. You're exploiting law-abiding no, citizens. No, you're wrong. You're, you, yes, you're, you're you are. Absolutely, no, you're absolutely wrong. I'm pouring the money back into my efforts to get marijuana legalized. And there is a big difference in somebody that molests a child and somebody that smokes a joint. In fact, we're kicking child molesters out of prison at an alarming rate to make room for the 750,000 pot smokers you're, no, you're a year. You're also teaching the big dealers tricks, and you don't differentiate. You're not just no, teaching 18, the small-time user. And you know, absolutely, you, the you dealers. You need to be honest the about this. You're teaching the bad guys, and you know the correlation between marijuana they're use not bad and guys. crime. So you're making crime worse too, and they, you should be ashamed of yourself. No, no, you should be ashamed for those type of statements when the crimes Americans are cons are uh, interested in are the crimes against persons and properties. If we legalize marijuana, if somebody uses a drug to the point it causes them to commit a crime, we have laws in place for that. They'll still go to jail for robbery, rape, burglary, and theft, even if these substances right, Barry, hang, hang are on made legal. I want to go to the good doctor. What's, what do you think is going on with Barry here? Well, I think it sounds to me like somewhere along the line you got very disenchanted and disillusioned with the system, and it's your way now of fighting the system by going against it rather than by continuing to work within it. Yes, the laws may need to be changed, but there's a way of doing that where you continue to uphold them and continue to be a role model for all the children and teenagers out there so that you're not giving the message it's okay to break the law if you get away with it. Raul? Rosa Parks, yeah, Rosa uh, Parks had <laughs> to break the law. Oh, stop. For the law Are to you change. comparing stop. yourself to Rosa Parks? <laughs> totally stop. Terrible. Absolutely not, Two but things. if you'll let me talk, I can explain. Go ahead. Right. Okay. 
Slaves were subjected to beating. It was a law that oh, if they please. escaped, the cops could right. beat them. So a marijuana smoker, if caught with marijuana, goes to prison and faces being raped or stabbed. It's serious. Well, maybe it they takes shouldn't seven... be smoking marijuana in the first place, and then they don't put themselves nope. in that position. Mar Two marijuana things. was made illegal in 1937 by a man that testified in front of the Congress saying it made white women seek relationships with Negroes. Oh, it's... <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that, that's ridiculous, obviously. But Barry, that's you know, not, that is the, ridiculous. The focus is, why don't you go, why don't you put your focus on making marijuana legal instead that of putting worked. your focus, instead of putting your focus on helping, you know, kids to get away from the cops and hide their pot. Working within the we, system instead of fighting the system and going against we, it. Yeah, we, and what we, about we've police had officers? Drug what about the chance? Hold on, Barry. Barry, what about the chance that police officers might use Barry's video and say, hey guys, they're on to us about this, so, you know, people might now stash the marijuana way up in the dash. Yeah. Maybe no, we no, should no. start my, looking my there. Video. Right. My video gives tips that are impossible to counter, such as go in the rain, such as spraying your uh, tires with fox Wait, urine. Powell, really quick thought, really quick. Well, it's not quick, but two things. Number one, drugs have been linked to terrorist financing. Two, drugs have killed hundreds of millions of people. That's not a lie. That's propaganda. That is propaganda that Fox right. drugs Everybody, are consistently used for We're terrorist gonna financing. We're going to have to leave it right there. Everyone Thank knows you very that. much, you guys. All right.